Good morning, everybody. Welcome. It's Steve with Mouse Secrets. Another video. It's uh, it's D Day here in Orlando. It's um, let's see, what time is it? <clears throat> Eight forty-eight a.m. I'm trying to talk a little quiet. I don't want to be too loud. I am outside, but um, it's eight forty-eight a.m. Wednesday morning. Hurricane A-hole is on his way. Excuse me. I'm not very happy about this hurricane. So Hurricane A-hole is on his way to disrupt everything. Um, um, yeah, we're just kind of, uh, we're pretty much set. We're pretty much ready to go. Um, got the garage. That was actually something. I was up late last night. I had to make a lot of room in my garage just to be able to get, get my car comfortably inside. I didn't want to leave that outside during the height of the storm. But um, yeah, it, it, you know, as of right now, the storm maybe died down just a little bit. I wanted to open up my radar. I, I just keep a, at this point, I just keep the radar open. And I'm just, you know, there, let's refresh. So look any worse. Mmm. Like if you, if you look at that for like a quick second there, the loop, it looks like, oh, maybe the cloud tops are getting blown off and it, maybe it'll start to. Uh, you know, die down a little bit, but then those last couple of frames on the radar, you can see those thunderstorms flaring right back up around the eye wall. This sucker just doesn't want to weaken. Like, come on, <laughs> come on, let's knock these winds down a little bit. No, but it, it does look weaker a little bit on those last couple of frame loops or whatever. So that's a positive sign. It's still kind of what the forecast is, fingers crossed, that this thing will, uh, you know, the edge will come off of it a little bit as the cold front interacts with it, and steers it on, on into Florida like it's doing, but. Um, it's a, it's a little bit tense, I'm not going to lie. Neighborhood's quiet, everybody's kind of in place. I don't see really anybody outside. We're just kind of waiting and seeing. Yeah, I, I told Susanna, I said, let's just be realistic. Odds are, because, you know, of course, my wife looks to me to be the, <laughs> the head of the house that is going to be uh, um, the relaxed one or something. But So I told her, I said, just be realistic. You have to be prepared. I'll be shocked if we keep power. There's no way. Like I'll be, I'll be shocked if we keep power. Like I'll never sell my house. I'll live here forever. If we hold on to our electricity, very, very happy. So, I told her at minimum. I said at some point, you know, just have to be prepared. Power is going to go out. So let's make sure we keep everything charged up, including the camera that I'm filming on, um, filming on right now. And I do plan to film throughout the day today. So anyway, um, and into tomorrow if I have battery to do it. But um, I said I anticipate we're going to lose the power. Um, there's a 50-50 chance that it disrupts the water. I just say 50 50 because I've never dealt with a big storm in Florida. I mean, I, I've lo I think I mentioned this in a previous video or stream, but I've lost water before in a hurricane in Virginia because the power got knocked out at the pumping station and it took like two or three days for, the, um, for Dominion Power in Virginia to get the power going at the pumping station again. So that sucks. That's not fun. But um, I would say Florida maybe is a little bit better prepared for, I would think they have diesel generators or something that run the uh, pumping stations here in Florida. But what do I know? I have no idea. So um, but I said, realistically, odds are power is going to go out at some point, 50-50 on the water. But I think like the thing maybe that I'm more even, if there's anything that would be more, cons okay, well, let me back up. So then winds, I think the winds are definitely strong enough, at least what's forecasted, unless that thing continues to weaken for some reason. I think like winds are definitely strong enough that um, a lot of folks are going to get new roofs out of this system. I just think so. And I, it's a shame because I don't need a new roof. My roof is brand new, but I definitely think like there's going to be some, um, there's going to be some damage to people's roofs. That's just inevitable. Um, just because I've seen shingles in this area, like I've mentioned before, my own house blow off in much, much, much less wind or whatever. So I'm anticipating roof damage. I told her, like, when I say roof damage, I mean like shingles, like some shingles popping loose. The structure of the roof, the trusses, the the, sh um, the plywood or the, um, the OSB, I don't think is going to come loose. It's got hurricane straps on the trusses and everything. So, um, but what I mean is like shingles can definitely pop or fly and you know how that goes. You get the heavy hurricane rain, tropical rain, and it'll um, wet the paper and you know, you might get some damp spots in your ceiling, some drips or something. So I told her like realistically, good chance or odds are no power, very good chance you're going to get, you know, some shingle damage. There's nothing you can do about that. But other than that, I think we'll be all right. But the only concern that I would have, I guess, for me, and I don't, and my, I'm not in a flood area, thank God, but in the end of the day, when they're talking like 12, 13, 14 inches of rain, depending exactly on the track it takes in relation to where you are, um, 12, 14 inches of rain is a lot. It's a lot, especially in a pretty short window. 
And uh, then you start dealing with uh, the flash flooding situation. And the flash flooding is, yeah, that's not what you want to be in the middle of. You know, and it, you can go without power. You can go with you know, a little roof leak here and there, a little roof damage or something. But um, having to go with uh, having to deal with flash flooding, because you don't know exactly where flash flooding is ever going to set up. It can happen right here on my street. <laughs> you know, flash flooding can, you know, just because I don't have a lake right behind me or beside me. I've got lakes close to me. But um, urban lake style flooding, like just, you know, storm drains get clogged with debris. And next thing you know, that heavy, heavy three, four inch per hour rainfall is coming down. And next thing you know, you got water coming in. So I, if anything, that's probably the one that like, I just hope that we don't have to deal with is uh, flash flooding. I'm hoping that like those rain bands, I hope they set up north of us. And on the computer models in relation to where I live, they are a little bit on the north, but we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Um, the The majority of the storm, I think around here, is going to probably start getting crazier. Let me look at this radar one more time. Actually, look, it's moving a little bit quickly. If, if you ask me on the radar, Three, three, four o'clock, it's going to start to get a little bit more sketchy, you know, and then just going to continue on into the night, probably be pushing out of here in the morning. So it's going to be a rough night. I, it's always a bummer when like these things happen at night because, you know, okay, we're responsible. I'm a responsible husband. I have to stay, <laughs> stay awake during the night. I'm not going to sleep during a hurricane or something. I have to be aware of what's going on around you. Yeah? I know some people are like, I'll just go to sleep and see what happens in the morning, but I can't do that. I've got a wife and child. So, you know, it's going to be a long, uh, it's going to be a long night for me. I'll try to document it as best as I can. This is the first, uh, first video clip. And I talked for like, how long? Oh my God. I'm not going to lie, guys. Some of these videos are going to get really long. I think the one from yesterday was pretty long, but there's kind of a reason why they're long. And that's because I just like to document it so that in the future, down the road, 10, 15, 20 years from now, Grandpa Steve will be able to show like, this is what Hurricane blah, 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 Milton. I didn't want to say his name. Hurricane A-hole. This is what Hurricane A-hole was like in 2024. I know this is like a Disney YouTube channel, so whatever. We're going to, he's a bad hurricane guy. We don't, we don't like him. But um, yeah, that's the deal. Let's see what happens. I'll just, we'll progress through the day. Hopefully everybody's situated and um, okay. Alrighty, well the time is 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Currently, this is what it looks outside the house, what it looks like outside of my house. A little breezy, a little breezes are starting to come through. Trees are blowing a little bit. Um, some good news is that um, the afternoon advisory came out, or 11, 11 o'clock afternoon advisory came out, and it shows that the hurricane has weakened a little bit. It got down to 145 miles an hour, so still super, super, super powerful, but definitely like it's going in the right direction that it's weakening as it approaches the coast. So th thank God that's happening. 145 mile an hour is still super powerful, but compared to what this thing was at at one point and what it was at even early this morning, seeing it weaken is, is great. And I always believe, and I've said this many times, you definitely want to be, uh, you want a hurricane approaching you weakening, not a hurricane approaching you strengthening. So it's good that it's weakening um, as it approaches the coast or whatever. So hopefully the wind shear will continue. The cold front is blowing the cloud tops off that northwest side of it. Every time I look on the radar, you can see like the eye wall has you know, definitely been um, filled in by the clouds. So that's a good sign of more weakening. But maybe this thing will weaken a little bit more before it makes landfall here um, on the west coast of Florida, on the Gulf Coast of Florida. But um, yeah, noontime, this is what it looks like outside. We're about to head inside though and make some food. We wanna cook some stuff just in case, like I said, well, not just just in case, but eventually, the eventuality that when we lose power, we have some stuff in the refrigerator that we would like to cook that we don't want it to go to waste. So we're gonna do a little bit of cooking here. And we're gonna cook some pizzas. I think that's the plan. Um, we're gonna cook some pizzas. I've got two pizza doughs in the refrigerator, so we're gonna cook some pizzas. We've got a package of chicken. I'm gonna cook that. I think you guys may have even seen me buy that on my video yesterday. We've got a package of chicken breast and also have some chicken liver. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of cooking or whatever here while we've still got the electricity. Definitely a little breezier than from the last time I was outside. Now, I did go ahead and get the car locked up into the in the in the garage. Cars locked up. I think I'm pretty much, or we're pretty much ready just to see how this thing is going to shake out. Clouds are moving quick though. Here, I'll hold the camera so you can see that. Clouds are rotating quickly. Hoping for more wind shear, lots more wind shear, and hopefully we just keep blowing the 
the cloud tops off of the center of that storm, get some dry air up in there, and keep on weakening and slowing it down before it makes its eventual lounge fly. Lounge, oh, I'm sorry. Lounge, did I say lounge fly? <laughs> makes its eventual lounge fly. Makes its eventual land fall. <laughs> well, I think you know where we're going with that. Come on, Larry, pizza, pizza, do the pizza song. Pizza, 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 come on, pizza song. You were just singing the pizza song. Pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> <laughs> My little girl's not afraid of anything. Pizzas are ready. I think let's eat, honey, right? Yeah. There you go. That's our uh, world famous pepperoni pizzas. Um, let's eat something because it's getting a little breezy outside. We just finished up uh, filling the bathtub. We'll fill up a sink. I'm going to shave and shower just in case if there's no power for a while. I want to be shaved, so I'm going to eat, shave, shower. There you go, it's five o'clock. Getting a nice little straw through here. Ooh, wow. So, I gotta say though, the news is really, really, really good. The news is really good. Um, the hurricane this afternoon is dramatically weakened over the last couple of hours, it really started weakening this morning. It's just been continuing to weaken. And uh, wind speeds have fallen all the way to 120 miles an hour. So before landfall, the storm is approaching. We're getting, ready, we're getting really close to landfall at this point anyway. But, uh, wind speeds have dropped all the way down to 120 miles an hour, which is fantastic news. Very, very, very good news. And um, yeah, I mean, the impacts of it are still going to be felt here but absolutely nothing like what was uh, forecasted or what the computer model has been thinking was gonna be the situation for this area. So all in all, um, very, very good news. But the gusts, as you can see, are still gonna be coming through. Oh, here comes the rain. All righty, so you can see that it's, uh, it's settled down quite a bit. I mean, this hurricane weakened so much upon its uh, approach to the Gulf Coast. Like, I mean, to be down to 120 miles an hour, it's so awesome. Super, super lucky for everybody in its path that it was able to diminish by that much in intensity and strength that sheared apart, blown apart and everything. So it's still approaching, <clears throat> still getting pretty close to making landfall in the Tampa area. Slowly will make its way up this way into the Orlando area, but you get an idea right now. We had that one squall that you just saw, and then it kind of settles down a little bit. It'll continue through the evening as we, the storm center makes landfall and comes closer and closer into central Florida. Squalls will pick up like what you're seeing here, and Marie, don't go too far, honey. And um, I mean, power outages will probably still be a thing, but either way, I think, um, I don't know. I don't want to say yet, yeah, but probably dodged a pretty big bullet if I were guessing at this moment, so. Yeah, I will say that. I think we dodged a really, really, really big bullet. All right, and we'll pop out. I'll come back outside here in a little bit and see how it looks. But I mean, yeah, so far, not too bad. Obviously, I mean, it's still got a ways to go before landfall and everything, but the uh, the effects or whatever, not too bad. And the big thing again, it's just, just weakened, dramatically weakened. Getting a little gusty. Suzanne was talking about the sky there, how dark that is, oh yeah. There we go, those are some of the stronger winds we've had tonight, the stronger gusts. And now, we're dealing with um, the squalls that are getting a little bit closer to us. And you can get an idea of what it looks like here, up in Polk County, not too far from Disney, is um, the center of the storm slowly now begins to work its way closer and closer to this area. But yeah, getting a little breezy. So we're getting a nice little, uh a nice little squall moving through the area tonight. Look at that, but right now. No real winds on this batch. This is just more like um, um, heavy rain. Look at the rain. Woo. Some of the heaviest rain we've had of the night so far. I definitely need gutters at some point. Look at the water just pouring off my roof. Oh my goodness. But um, 
some of the heavier rains we've had so far uh, in the storm, I would say. So the storm is just now close to making landfall. Um, so the center is slowly getting closer to us where we are. Um, rain is picking up, heavy rain, like squally. Although it's been squally really all day today. They're all afternoon into the evening, but um, definitely, ooh, it's a, little, that's a nice dust. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting a good gust now. Look at that. Don't want to miss it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what'll take the power out. I'm hoping I'm going to hold on to power, guys. I really, really do. Look at that down there. There we go. Nice squall coming through. Ooh, this is the strongest one of the night. Strongest one of the night. Come on, power. Do your job. Don't fail in that. Even though the storm is, uh, is weakened significantly, I mean, the impacts are still going to be pretty uh, pretty interesting to see how it, or it's going to still be pretty um, intense, I think, as it works its way in this direction. And just like that, the squall passed. <laughs> it's so wild how squalls, it's like you just come through, like, you get the winds, you get the rain, it's whipping, and then before you know it, it's peaceful, you're getting quiet. I think we're just gonna see a lot of this as the night continues on a lot more. Squalls will probably become a little bit more frequent or should become more frequent. The winds will just keep intensifying as we get closer to the center of the storm. Each squall that comes through will just be a little bit stronger most likely with a little more rain. Be strong little palm trees. Oh, power flicker. Oh, come on electricity, hold on. Hold on. Give us power for a little bit longer. That was the first like good flicker we've gotten. There's some, those were the strongest winds of the night right there. Oh, here we go. Whoa. 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 Oh my goodness. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There's, that's the wind. That's the wind. Whew. Whew. Definitely getting the gustiest wind so far of the day or the evening. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. Woo. It's amazing how much wind a palm tree can take. Isn't that amazing? This is what I always talk about. If this was, if this was um, Virginia, if these were pine trees or palm, um, uh, like some oaks or something, oh, these things would be gone. This is the Florida landscape that can just take the wind. Those type of gusts in <laughs> back in Virginia, you'd lose your roof. Shingles would be flying. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm doing like double videos. I've got the live stream going and I'm, and I'm making a video too, but I really do think that we dodged a bullet. I could be totally wrong. Like right when I say this, like something happens, but we, no, I think we dodged. It could be so much worse though. Had it not weakened, but let's see. I think it could have been so much worse. But hey, everybody, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we're just kind of hanging out, hoping, praying for some electricity. And uh, we're getting definitely our strongest winds of the night so far. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting to see how this goes over the next several hours. Whoa, whoa, ooh, good one. Oh my God. Oh, that could take a tree. That could, that could take a tree. Oh, this is the strongest wind of the night. There it is. Good gust. Look at that. Ooh. Strongest wind of the night. Look down there. Oh, wow. Come on, power. Hold on, lights. Don't go anywhere. We need you. Okay, this is definitely the strongest wind of the night. Stay up against the squall like that, so the camera doesn't get too wet. Look at that. Oh, there is 
that's it. That is it. The strongest gust of the night. Power lines are holding, baby. Power lines are holding. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Those are the gusts. That's it. Hurricane Center is approaching. Ooh. That was a good one. That was a good gust. Look at that, though. Look at the wind. If you can see, I hope the camera's picking up the wind, uh, rain driven, wind driven rain. Look at that. Another one coming. Oh, there we go, baby. You can almost hear it like it's building. Here, here, here. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Big one. Come on, palm trees, be strong. Woo. It's happening right now. Definitely by far the strongest winds of the night. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I, I, I'm just blown away. The power things are holding. Electricity's holding. Ooh. Come on, baby. Look at that. Oh, ho. But I think like, the great thing for us is the wind is just literally blowing straight down the street in that direction. So my windows that are on this side of the house will be blocked by the neighbor's uh, house. So really, this is like, it's not like pushing on the windows or anything. But this is definitely by far the strongest of the wind tonight as the center of Milton approaches Davenport, Florida. Oh, oh. Big guy. Whoa. Oh, oh. Biggest one of the night. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I'm backing up. I'm backing up from that one. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What is that? I'm, I'm over. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones. Am I a little tree going to make it? I don't know. Oh, my God. Was that the biggest gust? I think that was the biggest one. Wow. All right. Well, maybe not. Maybe we've got a little more to go. Hold on. Alrighty, well it's about 10 minutes after 10, and I think you can you can see like all hell broke loose out here. Like it's it's happening. I was on my live stream, I had to kill the live stream. Um, get an idea though what it looks like out here. Let's just soak it all in for a second. But these are definitely the strongest winds of the night as the center of the storm gets closer and closer. But I mean, wind driven, driving rains. Um, it's officially like it's the strongest winds I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen it rain this heavy before. It's insanity. Crazy, crazy wind. Come on, look at this. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. 
power lines are still holding. Electricity is still holding. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's still holding. Look at that. Wow. It's about 10 minutes after 10. Center of the storm is, up, is coming. It's been on land now for about an hour and a half. Downgraded to a Cat 2. On its way to my house. So far, the streets are looking good. No ponding or anything. We are, they did send out just a few minutes ago, about 15 minutes ago, a flash flood warning for this area. Hopefully our storm water system does its job and absorbs this rain, the driving rain. Probably, what, three inches an hour at this point? It's gotta be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Strong, strong wind. Good gust. Strong gust of wind. I was saying earlier, if this was where I'm from, Virginia, we would have lost power eight hours ago, and this type of winds would be taking roofs off in Virginia. But here in Florida, code, construction, it can handle this. It's amazing. Look at that. Wow. Strong gust. I just realized I don't even have my wind muff on my microphone. There's <laughs> probably a lot of wind noise in this, in this audio. That's impressive. That's definitely impressive. Especially just the way that the, the way the rain is just being driven. Look at that. It's just driving the rain into the trees. It's crazy. Listen to it, the sound of it hitting the palm fronds, how loud that is. I think we understand why we're under a flash flood warning at this point. This is my god, this kind of rain. Definitely I'm sure there's some roads that have got some serious ponding and, and so forth going on. Whoa. Down here is just crazy. I don't know, I hope the action cam can, I can't zoom it in, but I hope you can see what it looks like down there. Ooh, lightning. First lightning I've seen of this uh, storm. It's midnight, so technically now, Thursday. Um, the, the storm is still right on top of us, but you can tell like, maybe this is not the strongest part of it. Is it maybe, I don't know, whatever. It, it's still windy, it's definitely still windy, but I think the strongest winds actually were probably about 45 minutes ago. I mean, it was really, really, really kicking out here. So, that's what it looks like. Like the tree is not sideways. <laughs> that tree was, poor tree was sideways. Still raining like crazy, but it looks like the storm water is doing its job. No street flooding, nothing like that. Thank God. At least at the moment, no flooding. So I don't know if we're just in like a little bit of a lull or if finally like it'll start to slow down. Let's see. But either way, that's my last little uh, clip for the night. Unless there's just something crazy that happens. But I think like, yeah, that's my last clip for the night. So we and Susanna, we were just relaxing, watching some TV. We've had power pretty much the entire night. It's flickered a couple times. Uh, obviously every time it flickers, you'll lose the modem. So you gotta wait for the modem to restart. But uh, all in all, like, electricity is done amazing. Like the lights are glowing over there. So I'm so impressed with that, really and truly. Like I can't believe like the power is held. Now watch me jinx it or something and the little like, final like this thing's pulling off, but wow, like it really did amazing. So <sighs> that's it. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm not coming back out tonight. I've, I've, had, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. I was just thinking like it's slowing down and then all of a sudden like you get like another band. I was like, yeah, I guess it's not slowing down yet. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Oof. 
All right, let's <laughs> go inside. Alrighty, good morning. Well, oh, I see, I did lose, I lost a number off my house. As I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna be all right, but I lost a number off the house. But um, good morning, guys, it's the next morning. Hurricane is out of here, it's just a little bit breezy. 60, like six degrees, actually amazing weather now. Air is dry, but um, yeah, storm has passed, just a little bit breezy. See though, I lost a number off of the house. But all in all, I think we did we did pretty good. I don't see any damage or anything here. Let's see. That was crazy though. Strong, strong wind last night. A little tree held up. She's even kind of straight. <laughs> she didn't shift too much. Yeah. Looks like it's all there take a little bit better uh, look around the house but I'm gonna go ahead and get my car pulled out reconnect the garage door you know I manually uh, disengaged the garage door and put the latches on the track so I'm gonna pull the car out and get the uh, reconnect the motor for the garage door that type of thing but <sighs> looks pretty good I think we got super super lucky all right Got the car outside, pulled the car back out of the garage, and I reconnected my garage chain. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but so yesterday when I pulled the car into the garage, by the way, God, I can't get over how beautiful it is out here. 60 degrees at least. It's the coolest weather since last year. But um, no, yesterday when I put the car in the garage, I went ahead and I pulled the garage chain. That way I'd be able to um, manually open the door if we lost power, which thank God we never did. We just had some flickers or whatever. But so pulled the car back out the garage and I reconnected my garage motor to the to the door so that the motor will uh, re-engage and lift the door. So that's done. Now, I think real quick, I'm gonna run back in the backyard and grab my trash cans and put them back where they're supposed to be. And I don't know if I showed you guys how I did my trash cans. Take a look at this. Yep, no damage on this side. Oh, I, lo I lost that though. Like, look, it blew the paper right off the side of my air condition. Little tag, <laughs> unit, uh, unit tag or something, that's gone. See, windows are great. Um, I want to go back further into the yard, too, and just take a look at the uh, shingles. If I stand way, way back there, I should be able to see the shingles a little bit. But on this side, we look pretty good. So here's how I did. Okay, and people are going to tease me, and that's fine. But I didn't have any room for my trash can and recycle can of this bicycle. So I strapped them all together. And then I strapped them to this tiny little puny tree. But it looks like they held just great. I mean, they didn't go anywhere. Um, no, shingle-wise, how's the roof look? I'm gonna hold this sucker way up there. Roof looks pretty good, I'm assuming. Back side of the roof looks good. Let me see if I can see the side. Uh, side of the roof. Looks like it held, I don't see any. Last time I lost my vent cap, that cap right along like the, but in the front though, but the edge, the, the roof cap. But this time they all look like they're there. Let me come around this way. The back side of the roof shingles look great. Look good, look good, look good. Looking way up there in the sky. It's so hard to see this roof from the top. Can I see this edge, this side? Wow, looks great, amazing. So all of that, all of that wind from yesterday, and you guys saw the wind, didn't lose any shingles. So here's what's crazy to me is, how in the world then, with all of that wind, did we not lose any shingles? But then the previous 2022 storm, my, my vent cap blew off. Oh, you know what, my neighbor did lose some shingles though. His roof, right, or no? Yes, my neighbor lost his vent cap. So let me double check, because it can almost like blend in with the roof so well. My neighbor's roof, his vent cap blew off. If you notice that edge like going up, that's what I'm talking about, that, that line there. He did lose his vent cap, his is gone. Let me double check mine, I'm looking again. I'm talking about that going up, looks good. Coming down, looks good. And I'm gonna look at the front one more time, because it can almost be like camouflage. I was gonna look back here behind us. 
Some of these um, screen lanai's look like they tore. Some of these tore. That's just kind of like the, that's expected. You can see it in the pool. That's just, if those things are, even if they're brand new, they can still tear. I mean, guys, we had serious winds whipping through here. I'm very impressed with how everything held up. All right, I'm gonna unhook my, I'm gonna untie my trash cans and this bicycle, and then I'm gonna walk back to the front one more time, and I'm gonna look at that vent cap. Okay, and this looks like this worked. Look at that, no sand washed away. The rocks did their job as the water was coming off the roof. All that heavy, heavy rain was coming off the roof as the water was hitting the stones. That was breaking up the water and keeping it from uh, washing any, any more sand away. So that's good. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a nice little edge. I'll just hand dig an edge. Then I'll get like maybe three more bags of those stones. I'll remove the red bricks, fill it all in with stones. And I think that'll be fine. That's pretty good. No, but it did its job though. No erosion, which was the goal. Perfect. And with the amount of rain that we ended up having, that was necessary. Inside of the landscape, you look, the winds were strong enough that it took off. You know, so when you when you trim your palm trees, like like those are due to be cut. They're overdue to be cut. I need to do them like immediately. But you'll have the um, this part. I don't even know what you call it. The leftovers still stuck to the tree. Look how the wind ripped them off. They're laying in there. That's pretty awesome. Like the wind took them off. Actually, did some work. Did some of the work for me. So not too bad. Pick those up. Clean those up. Yeah, flatten those. But that's interesting. The wind was strong enough that it blew the pieces of the, the old leftover palm tree limbs off, the leftover pieces that you cut. Huh. All right, I just want to take like a quick little look around the neighborhood, see if any uh, damage or anything. Like solar panels look like they held up nice on those houses. So far, so far, looking good, looking good. I was just talking to my neighbor though, because I don't have cable, so I do miss a little bit of like the local news or whatever. Although it was, you know, it was nice that most of the local stations were broadcasting on YouTube last night or yesterday and day before for storm updates. But I mean, in and around our area, though, there was a lot of damage in the tornado situation. It was really, really bad. Um, I'd like to see if I can take a look at this little retention pond. I'm curious like how much water is sitting in the ponds and the retention lakes and all that stuff. Let me see here. Look at that. Empty, empty retention pond. Wow. That did its job. I mean, the lake, it's full. This is interesting. So this lake was, um, the levels you could tell had dropped considerably over the, really like the last year, because it's been so dry here. I've talked about it a lot, but lake is full. That'll help, all that rain will help. That'll definitely help. It's probably gonna keep filling up even more. Huh, all right. But still, it's not like overflowing or anything. It's, it's perfect. We're lucky, where we are, we're very, very lucky. Um, especially with the things like the flooding and drainage and everything. Yeah, I mean, look at this retention pond, it's dry. Wow, not a dry. I thought there'd be some water in the retention ponds, but none. Isn't that something? I really thought there would be. Um, so my community did very well. I will say we got we got lucky. Our community did very well. I'm going to pull out of the neighborhood and just kind of take a little ride. In. Oh look, sandhill cranes. There they are. Hello birdies. Hello birdies. How are y'all? Did y'all do okay, birdies? Look, 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 look. These are the sandhill cranes. We're getting lucky. We're going to get a good view of them. Hello birdies. Hi. Y'all did good in the storm, no issues. You look nice and healthy. You guys can weather anything. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that looks like that did pretty well. Uh, I mean, they look like they did pretty well, I should say. Again, this area looks nice. Oh, what a, what a relief. I mean, look, I don't ever want to like sell. I'm not celebrating, actually, you know, I'm not, I'm not celebrating because I know other people are definitely dealing with some issues, so. Um, <clears throat> part of it, I just want to see like how this community held up because one thing we don't really have here is a good baseline, you know, like, so that ne for the next future storms, and there will always be more storms, we'll have an idea like, okay, so this is what the, um, this is what it looks like today, or this is what it looks like after a hurricane that's a category two. So it'll give you an idea of what it would look like in a future hurricane. So if you're trying to like judge like how you should react to a future storm, you can compare it back to this one and say, well, my house, held up like X, you know, I had this happen or that happen. And 
we now know like one thing is like our house is definitely like the, the power grid around our neighborhood is pretty darn decent that we were able to not we were able to hold our power through the night like that through the day and night that was pretty impressive but uh looks looks pretty good all right i'm gonna pull out um the i'm gonna pull out of the community out onto the street and see what it looks like out there because there are a lot of big trees uh, this is my house coming up on the right and i gotta do some work i did lose a number i lost the, i did lose a number off the front of the garage all right let's um let's head out of the neighborhood and see what it looks like when we go out I'm curious oh, this guy lost some vinyl fence panels which are kind of to be expected i mean that's just that's just wind what are you gonna do about that i'm actually surprised that more homes and losers this house doesn't have anything protecting it it's on the Call, um, on the corner, corner lot. So that house did lose some vinyl panels, lost their gate. Good thing is with these, as far as I know, you should be able to just snap them and pop them back in place. Did kind of carry them over here. A couple of vinyl panels got knocked out there. Like that's just, that's not, if that's the worst of it, that's not terrible. That's not bad at all. If that's the worst of it, not bad at all. Golly, give you an idea of how strong the winds were though. It did damage this uh, the security gate. Look at that. Ripped the um, the uh, the steel, just pulled the steel right off of that. That's crazy. So that's going to have to be fixed. Yeah, broke the gate. Oof. Some of the, um, this is a construction project going on beside our community. I don't even know what they're building yet, but some of those tarps got ripped loose. But all right, let's head, let's head out of here and see what it looks like. We go a little further out. Right away, the first thing I would say is how in the world those trees there, like how did they all hold up? My God, I'm really just impressed. Wow. These are brand new apartments. Their landscaping held up, it looks like. Didn't uproot any of those new trees that haven't had a chance to establish themselves yet. They look pretty good. Power is on. Shoof. All right. Can I get gas? <laughs> if I could get gas here real quick. This 7-Eleven's got power. I don't know, can I get some fuel? It'd be great. Let's see. And no, the answer is cannot get gas. No gas. They didn't get the gas. There's a lake here. How's that one? I mean, it just looks like a normal lake. This retention pond in front of the school is filled a little bit. But nothing too high. Those lake, that lake there is, looks how it always looks. Oh, we got a train coming. Looks like that little canopy fell or something. Honestly, I think we did really, really, really good. Is this thing broken? Is that what it is? Oh my God, do we stop or what are we doing here? That's creepy. Running a train stop is creepy. I've never had to do that before. I've never had to, I've never had to decide like, do I run the train or not? I guess the, the train gate is broken. Power is out up here. So maybe it just automatically, if power goes out, although the gate looked like it was broken. So maybe the gate broke when it lowered or something, but um, this intersection, the power is out. Um, that's a little bit creepy though. I've never had to be like, do I run it or do I not run it? Um, of course, power's out of intersection. You always treat it like a four-way stop. We're gonna go. So again, we're in, um, we're not very far from Disney, probably about 10, 12 miles. Most of this, most of these neighborhoods back here have electricity, it looks like, the lights are on. And I mean, I don't see trees down. Like, I just would've thought we would've lost some pines and I don't know, like, it's amazing. The Florida landscape can just take the wind like no other. That type of wind, I think anywhere else would be massively bad. I have to learn to just appreciate, like, it's Florida. The, you know, there's like a little, you have these all over, of course, this area with like a little mobile community here. No issue. Oh, I see one looks like it's gone. Yeah, one, one awning or something came down, it looks like. Not the actual house, but like an awning. Let me see, um, I'm gonna try to go to Wawa and see if I can get some gasoline. I would love to get some gas. Let's see. Going to Wawa. 
there's a little damage in there, but oh yeah, the little mobile homes, they look like they did okay. One of the little, like out here, how does this mobile home community look? It's hard to see. I got a feeling a lot of those folks would have gone to the shelters that opened up yesterday. Still so far, I mean, like minimal damage in this area. And that is a no to gas inside of Wawa. No gasoline still. So the gas that I do have, then I need to save it, I guess. And so hopefully later today or tomorrow, the gas station start reopening, but that Wawa is out of fuel. 7-Eleven across the street, no gas, out of fuel. That's the most frustrating thing right now, man, is the, uh, the gas situation. I need gas. Coming this way, you can see like some of the older trees. Even then, I would say like they came down, but even then they didn't though. I don't know. This area just, we did pretty good. I kind of just did like one big circle. I didn't see too much. I mean, like you see like an occasional like fence maybe blown or something, but nothing too bad. We got very lucky. Alrighty guys, well that's a wrap on the video. That's our experience with Hurricane Milton. Um, I think we got really, really lucky. Thank God as it was approaching the coast, it did like the models it said it was going to do, which it ended up uh, weakening. You know, the cold front blew it apart, blew the tops off that northwest side of the storm and just allowed some dry air to get up in there and just overall just weakened it. Getting those winds down to that 120 miles an hour land, landfall was a big, big, big help. But um, thoughts and prayers go out to, and I don't know if I touched on enough in this video at all, but the tornado, the tornado outbreaks that started probably yesterday afternoon around maybe one two o'clock three o'clock in the it was right around there now i gotta think about it. maybe two o'clock in the afternoon um tornado outbreak everywhere and normally tornadoes in with hurricanes are usually very very small or weak i should say not small but weak like f1s at the max maybe an f2 but generally like f1s i've actually experienced one before in a hurricane so it's um usually it's just like strong gust of wind you almost can't even tell that necessarily there's a tornado versus just the regular uh, tropical winds you're getting from the storm but Apparently, uh, the tornadoes that this thing spawned off are really bad, and unfortunately, some folks lost their lives. So thoughts, prayers, and everything go out to all of those families, those individuals, and everyone that were impacted by the tornadoes, which it may come back to is one of the bigger impacts overall of the storm was the tornado outbreak. Um, it's a shame that happened. So, But uh, as for us personally, I think you know, myself, Susanna Marie, where we live, we got pretty darn lucky with... Um, with um, the situation, so it could have been a lot worse for us. Winds died down, you know, technology is amazing, or, you know, what am I trying to say, like uh, building codes and so forth are amazing that the homes were able to take the winds the way they do. Uh, having the power ground, power lines buried is amazing. Like, you obviously can just you know, see what how it went for us yesterday. It's a testament to burying power lines is a great, great, great thing, especially for a place like Florida, although up north too with your ice storms, snowstorms. But, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for the American Red Cross where you can make a donation that goes towards um, a hurricane relief fund for not only Milton, which we just experienced, but of course for Helene as well. So I'll leave a, a link in the description down below that if you'd like to make a donation through the American Red Cross, folks could probably use that help. Yeah, so that is a wrap on the video, guys. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you on the next video.